Hello and welcome to our second video about programming the microbit and making it control LEDs. In this session we're going to look at how to actually connect up the LED strip and make it display colours. So my microbit still has a smiley face running on it but we're going to change the program so that it controls this strip. Now we have to connect the strip to the microbit and the microbit has this little row of what they call pins even though they don't look like pins running at the bottom and some of these pins have holes in that you can connect your crocodile clips um, to and this will then allow the micro bit to control the LED strip. Now there's a colour convention in um, electronics which is normally that black is zero volts and red is the positive volts and what you see on the micro bit here is GND that also means zero volts so black goes to GND. See I'm squeezing the micro clip, avoiding getting my finger caught in it, so that's not so much fun. And I will get that one to go in. And finally I will put that one on. So I have black going to GND, I have the red going to 3V, 3 volts, and I have the yellow going to pin number 2. Uh, the black and the red are used for power, the yellow is used by the micro bit to send signals to these LEDs. And as I briefly mentioned in the first session, each one of these LEDs on this strip has a red, green and a blue LED in it and you can mix those colours to make almost any other colour. And each one of them is what's known as individually addressable, so you can decide which LED goes on and which colour it is. Um, they have a little silicon chip in, so they're not just LEDs, and that allows us to send messages and to communicate with the LED strip. Now these LED strips are used everywhere, and a lot of the artworks that have been created for the Light Up Leicester Festival have LED strips inside them. They don't necessarily use micro or don't necessarily use a micro bit to control the strip, they might use a different type of computer. But the principle is very similar, so you might see a very large artwork covered in LEDs and somewhere behind the scenes there will be a computer, a microcontroller or a desktop computer controlling those LED strips. So I've now plugged them in, my micro bit is still plugged into my computer. Okay so if you now move over to my computer you'll see that I'm on make code and I can go to new project and I can create my first light. So I now have an empty program ready to go. Now the micro bit doesn't have as standard a piece of software for controlling LEDs. However, it has an extension which is very easy to add to give you that capability. So to add the extension to control the lights, I click on advanced. Just scroll down to the bottom here and I can click on extensions. And then we have an extension called NeoPixel. Another name for these LEDs is NeoPixel. NeoPixel is a brand name that's used by Adafruit to describe their LED products. Um, you'll find a lot of things advertised on the internet as being NeoPixels. They're all this same sort of thing, a strip of LEDs that you can control individually. So I've now added the NeoPixel extension to my micro bit, and I can make a simple program by using some of the blocks available in here. Now the first thing we have to do is tell the micro bit how many LEDs that we have and how are they connected. So the first module up here, the set module, I can drag it and pop it in the start block. Now, as I mentioned, we're connected to pin number two and our strip has 10 LEDs. But of course, if you had a longer strip or you're controlling a different NeoPixel sort of product, a matrix, a grid of things, you might have a lot more LEDs, but 10 is fine for, for us to get going with. So my on start program tells the micro bit how many LEDs it has. And then what I'm going to do is go back to NeoPixel and I am going to choose a color and let's say red. Now when this program runs on the virtual micro bit, you'll see it even shows the LEDs and how they're going to look. So again, you can program the micro bit without actually having a micro bit. You can learn about it and you can even experiment with LEDs. Now this should be enough to light up the LED strip. So let's send my program down. I'm already connected to my micro bit. If 
I click on the download button, it will flash on the back as the program goes down, and now it lights up the strip as red. So we now have red LEDs, and of course everyone's the same colour, but let's try changing our program so that we can have some different colours. So I am now going to change it to yellow. The program goes down, and now the strip goes yellow. And in fact, what we could do is we could make it flash between red and yellow. So this is the first thing it does on start. It sends one command or a couple of commands down to the strip and doesn't do anything else. If you want to animate things, we're going to use the forever. So let's go into the NeoPixel blocks here and choose the color red. I'm then going to use one of the very basic micro bit commands, which is the pause. And I'm going to wait for 100 milliseconds, which is 0.1 of a second, one tenth of a second. I'm now going to back, go back to the colour here and I'm going to make it go yellow. You see it's got a whole bunch of standard colour names here, but in fact you can give it any colour you like by combining the red, green and blue value. I can show you that in a second. And then I'll do another pause at the end. And my simulator's already started. <laughs> it's better with the pause in. So the simulator will now flash between the two, but it will be more fun if I look at it on the LED strip itself. And down it goes. So we have a simple program now that's controlling the LED strip using the micro bit. Um, and as you can see, the program, because of the NeoPixel extension, is actually a very small program. So next step, I'm going to just show you how you can make a rainbow appear on here, so every colour will be different. So I'm going to get rid of these blocks. These were the blocks that did the, the red and yellow flashing. And I'm going to go into NeoPixel, and we'll see here there's a rainbow option. I'm going to put it at the top because I just want it to run once initially. So it says here, rainbow from 1 to 360. What it means by that is the position on the colour wheel. Colours are often shown as a wheel of colours going from red through to blue to green, back to red. Um, and this means that you want the rainbow to cover all of those colours. So the, the colour wheel has 360 degrees. So if I now send my programme down, it will stop flashing. and we now have a rainbow. So, of course, we haven't got 360 pixels, so we're not getting every single um, degree in that colour wheel, <clears throat> but you can see it goes from red to green to blue, and then back to red. In fact, if you went back to the beginning, you see that it is like a wheel of colour going around there. So every pixel has a different colour. Now, what we can do with this programme is we can animate it by using another NeoPixel command. And this is the Rotate Pixels. If I pop Rotate Pixels in, it will shift the pixels around so you get the sense of the rainbow moving around the LED strip. Now we'll do it fairly quickly unless I put a pause in. So I'm going to put a pause in, or probably 100, no, I'll put um, 100 milliseconds in. And in this case, I have to do one additional step in order to make the, the NeoPixels light up, which is I have to run the show command. The show command tells the NeoPixel strip to update. Now you'll see that um, show rainbow, the first time you run it, there is a show command built in, and the show red has a show command built in. But I need to do a show because I'm doing an operation, I'm rotating the pixels, I'm delaying and I'm showing. In fact, I'll put the it would be better to have the delay after the show. It make a lot of difference. And we can already see here in our simulator the sort of thing we're expecting to see, a rotating rainbow. So let's download it. And there we go, we now have some animated LEDs, animated rainbow. When you start looking at this, if you do come to the light festival in Leicester or go to another light festival, you'll see a lot of animated LEDs. And this is the technique that they're using. They're using these 
LED strips and they're sending messages to each one. They may not be displaying rainbows, they could be displaying more complicated patterns, but the principle is the same. Now, before I finish this program, there's one thing I always do, which is if you have a number of micro bits, I have a whole box of micro bits, and you plug them in, you don't always know if there's a program on the micro bit, certainly if you haven't got LEDs plugged in. So I always put a little smiley face or another one. Let's choose a different icon. I'm going to choose a heart on start. And that way, I download the program. I also see that the micro bit is running a program. And I have a little convention that a heart means it's running a light program and this, that, and the other. Um, it's up to you to do that. So you can actually combine things. You can do stuff on the LED strip, but also on the built-in LED screen. Um, and of course we're connected. We're using the pins here to connect to the light strip, but another direction to go is to actually have things, other things connected to the other pins. You could have a, uh, you could have a speaker, so you've got sound and light, but you could have a button, that sort of thing. So that's the end of the uh, second session where we're showing you how to use the micro bit to control the LEDs. And in this case, we're showing a animated rainbow on our LED strip.